Shalom, give him all praise to the whole dash and all shall dash and the carcadash, give him all praise to the whole dash and all shall dash and the carcadash. Shalom to the to the whole elect out there. And I'm gonna entitle this video Back to the Basics. What is the lake of fire? Lake of fire is found only in the book of Revelation. The phrase, lake of fire. Revelation 19 and Revelation 3 verses in Revelation 20. And we should all speak the same thing. You know, the... Uh, let me come back over here. Anyway, I'm going to let you listen to this. I did this video last night. Uh, this was the uh, entire video that was put up by uh, uh, Sakari, and you had this individual, I don't know his name, well, I'm sorry, his name was right here, Ratazan uh, Shar Yun, and he got it from some, either IUIC, ISUPK, GMS, he learned Hebrew to get a Hebrew name from one of the former members of one West, the 12 tribes. I'm pretty sure believers of the way, which is the group he leads, they go out on the highways and the byways, they got the fringes on. Where do you think they got the fringes from? The, the idea to put fringes on their garment? Well, they wear t-shirts with fringes on it, which are not Israelite garments. Those are undergarments. And they and they and I, I'm almost, almost positive they got the 12 tribe sign and they got Judah, the Black Americans and Negroes, he from the Puerto Ricans. Did they study that, research that? Did the spirit come to them in the dream and tell them that? 95% or more of what they got is what they teach, the way they teach, they got it from either one or a combination of the major camps that came out of one West. So if you're going to go with the name of the Most High being Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Shahweh. You got other groups that say, well, his name is Yah Yahweh, and his son's name is Yeshua. Or you got G uh, G O C C that says the most, the most, the father's name is Ahia, and his son's name is Yeshaya. What made you go with yeah, the names Yahweh? Why Yahweh Shah? You followed. One of the major camps that came out of one west, either, either it's IUIC, ICBK, GMS, HODC, HOI, LOI. One of, or I'm not mentioning major camps that came out of uh, one west, which is still strong. Then you have uh, groups like Sakari and others that, ca that stem from other former one west camps. Like, for example, Sakari stem from GMS. This is why they teach that the MOTB is a, is a karagna, not because they figured it out on their own, but because they were following us and it made sense. But I believe they did research it like the Church of Berea. And they say, yes, it makes sense. We went through the scriptures just like GMS went through the scriptures. Um, the script, the, I started this, the title of this video, the first part of the title is that, you, that we all speak the same thing or that you all speak the same thing. If you got different camps that came out of one West and different camps that stem out of the form, former, former one Westers, you got to say, well, IUI te teaches MOTB one way, ISUPK teaches pretty much the same way, GMS teaches another way, and GMS is not budget. So you should, you should, uh, Think about that. Like I said, everything that you got was from one of the former One West, One West camps, or a combination of the three or four of them, or five of them, whatever. Everything that Zakari got, they got from GMS. Everything that they teach, they go into the breakdown, of Revelation, Daniel, the various the Hebrew names, and all they got that from GMS. Like I said, I don't know who you followed first. Now, the topic of the lake of fire, I'm going to try not to make this a long video. The lake of fire. The lake of fire, what does it mean? 
So I'm going to let you listen, and then I'm going to go on to the, to, to the precepts here, which is mentioned three times in Revelation 20, and one time in Revelation 19. So listen up. And you can actually watch the full video on Sakari page, which they put up a year ago. Sakari versus Believers of the Way. He represents Believers of the Way. It says, Mark of the Beast. And it says something else. Let me do this. It says, Mark of the Beast and Paul's writings, 2021. You know, that actually that was, uh, let's say about a, a year and a half, not quite two years. So let's listen. The deacon of God is going to ask him a question concerning the lake of fire. He said, do you still teach the lake of the fire and such and such and so and so? Uh, so let's listen. But the 12 tribe sign, he got perfect. If they carry a 12 tribe sign, the Hebrew is clearly what we call Lashuan Kodash. I'm pretty sure he calls on Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. I'm pretty sure he teaches that European, so called Europeans, are Edomites and not Jaffa, because you got Israelites that teach the, the sons of Jaffa. I believe it's the uh, straight way. Uh, Pastor uh, Dow, I believe he teaches that. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't watch him that much. But um, I believe he teaches that uh, the white man is Japheth. And then there's other Israelite groups that teach that, oh, um, this guy, uh, Ronald Dalton Jr., he teaches that uh, the so-called white man are the sons of Japheth. He also teaches that if you teach that there's UFO, the UFOs are the chariot to the most high or the angels, you're crazy, which he's not deep at all. He's not deep at all. And I believe he came into the, to the truth by following. Um, he said he came into the fact that he was an Israelite. And I believe the year was 2011. We had been out there for what? Since two, well, 2006, 2007, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've been out there on YouTube for 11 years. So we believe he followed a lot of the videos that the uh, former one west has put up let me let me put this back let me bring this back and you can see when he's asked that question he didn't expect that question to hit him and he and he looked like he was unsure of himself clearly looked like he was well he, he actually said it. i'm not sure no, no, you got to be sure you out there on the highways and the byways teaching you got to be ready for anything. Anybody can come up and ask you any question to learn the scriptures. You can't say, um, it could be this. And it, no, no, no. The scriptures speak about our Lord speaking with authority. That was the difference between him and the scribes and the Pharisees. He spoke with authority. And um, we're going to watch this other group, uh, uh, Wi-Fi, we call them, uh, WFI, uh, what is it, the Watchmen for Israel, they're going to do a thing on uh, the Mark of the Beast coming this coming Sabbath, their Sabbath, which is a Saturday, which is not the Sabbath. The Sabbath is based upon a new moon. Okay, so let's listen to this again. Then I'm going to go right into the topic. I'm going to go right into these precepts. Because if the lake of fire is a place that you burn in hell and you're tortured forever, according to what these scriptures say, that means Israelites are going to go into, uh, into captivity. I mean, in, into hell. They're going, to be, they're going to burn in hell right along with Esau and the other nations. 
and the ones that, especially the ones that, you know, took the took the MOTB. If you take the MOD, according to you, if you took the if you take the MOTB, you're gonna you're gonna fry forever. So, but bottom line, this guy is completely out of order. These two were putting on, they were real nice and friendly and buddy, and I love you, my brother. He ain't no brother. Is it who is my who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who's my sister? But then they do the will of the father. When you're teaching some crap that the lake of fire is a place that you burn forever, and that Israelites are gonna be, which he didn't say that, but he says that the place the lake of fire is is pretty much hell. You're gonna burn for eternity. And out of these precepts, it's gonna say that Israelites are gonna go to that lake of fire. Anybody that takes that karate, which he he, he doesn't even understand the karate thing. You got a lot of these renegades out there that's teaching this goddamn madness. Coming back to Wi-Fi, we're going to be watching, all the GMS elders and the brothers, we're going to be watching, we're going to be watching that video. We're going to be scrutinizing that video. And you notice ISUPK ain't saying nothing about it. They ain't joined this subject. They ain't coming to this whole subject. Uh, IUIC, they ain't coming to this subject because they're all wrong. And they know that they're wrong. So they got a lot of explaining to do, a lot of explaining to do. So let's listen. Uh, my second my second question is pertaining to our dialogue. And I'm gonna let you first mess it up. And my second question was, do you still believe that the lake of fire or, or what's your understanding about the lake of fire now? Oh boy, I didn't know they were gonna ask that question. What do I say? You're not a teacher, my man. You have no business being out there teaching. The Most High did not set you up. Um, I mean, as far as where the lake of fire, I mean, that's that debate. As far as where the lake of fire would be, I'm gonna be honest, my positioning on it, I can't say if it's a man. Um, from my understanding, maybe you have When he says, if you got, that means he don't know. I don't have an answer for it. So in a round, he filibustered. So in a roundabout way, he should have just said, look, I don't know. You got me on that one. And as far as his America on this, I'm not sure and where. He's totally clueless. Totally clueless. By all means, I, I don't know where the Lake of Fire is going to be, but I do know it's going to be. Like, like, is it going to be eternal torment? I believe it's eternal. I mean, that's going to go into another. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, okay. So basically, basically, you believe in hell on earth. Uh, the under, is the lake of fire under me? No. Let me clear this up right now. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in the devil. <laughs> I don't believe that, but I do believe in the so I do believe that that's going to happen. But do I believe there's a devil with a picture? Okay, so, so, uh, one, one quick question. This is, I'm not trying to, I'm not even going to go through the Bible. I know it sounds bad, but I'm not trying to badger the brother. I really just want to understand it. Uh, so, what's going to create the lake of fire? I don't think the scriptures, uh, unless you have one that said it, I don't think the scriptures go into what's going to create the lake of fire. Um, I mean, we could say a cliche comment like the most high would do it, <laughs> but as far as the details of how the lake of fire is going to be created, I don't know. Does the lake of fire exist already today? As far as that, I don't know. I can't tell you that either. I only can tell you what the scriptures okay. say. So yeah, yeah. So I, I try not to go outside of what I see in the Bible. You know, and I try not to go off of my thinking brothers do that, that's when they become, you know, I try to just deal with strictly what I see. That's, that's what it's saying. Uh, okay, so, um, do you still agree that it's the beast that's implementing the mark is America? Uh, yes, I definitely believe it's the straight boy. So, and, 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 and real quick, Dick, I'm being an actual question too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, is the market of beast out 
man. Don't worry. But what is the mark according to you? Uh, well, the, well, the scriptures say that there's nothing new under the sun. Do you guys agree? Well, we, we talked about that in the, in the dialogue. And I, when you look at the concept of that, that pericope, you're talking about like spirit or regeneration. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, the beginning, okay, let me go with um, Has the beginning been declared? Has the end been declared? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So we just, it's safe to say that. All of this, you know, to answer your question, you know, Mark has been you know, as far as the understanding that the end is declared. Okay, so what what is the mark though? I believe me personally, I believe and I have an in-depth lesson on this. You guys can go check it out. I I don't believe it's necessarily physical. I believe that it's something that is is spiritual, which you already you already know that. You know, um in the video I actually touched on like things of social social engineering and things of that nature and how um, you know the Esau is, is is targeting the minds of of the people. You know, um, if you ask me another question, which you probably have asked me, is well, have I ever had the mark? No, 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 no. Let me look up the word filibuster. Let's see what that means. Filibuster. A filibuster is a tactic used in the U.S. Senate to delay or block a vote on a measure by preventing debate on it from ending. The Senate's rules place few restrictions on debate. In general, if no other senator is speaking, a senator who seeks recognition is entitled to speak for as long as they wish. That's a polit political answer, but it applies to this too. Filibuster means you talking a lot. You just you're just rambling. That's basically what it means. Anyway, you know what? Let me listen to a little bit more. I'm gonna ask you that, but before okay. I ask you that, I want to know exactly what you believe the mark is. I believe it's a spiritual thing. I believe, as far as when I say spiritual thing, um, I think it's I think it's going to be determined by your works and your actions. Uh, your mind being what's inside of your, your brain, your brain, right? Um, your thoughts, your and your works being your hands. That's why if we go to that scripture in Exodus, right? And again, I don't want to get into the semantics of things, but when you look at the context of the Most High saying, "Have the commandments as a sign in your hand and in your forehead," that's a direct correlation to the mark. Ain't nothing about the, the, the you going off again. It has nothing to do with the the, the mark of the beast. So anyway, let's just go into it. We're going to deal with the lake of fire. So I'm going to read these four precepts. Revelation 19, verse 20. And the beast, first of all, my question, general question is who, who or what is the beast? And when did it come on the scene? What was the origins of the beast? Are there more than two beasts? Are there two stages to the beast? And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet. What does the false prophet represent? It doesn't represent one guy named Joe False Prophet. And a Christian would say, well, the so false prophet is the Antichrist, a guy in a Brooks Brothers suit. When you shave his head, it's 666 tattooed on the top of his head. Didn't you see the movie Omen? Christians don't know what the hell is going on. And with him, the false prophet. The false prophet represents these mainly the Roman Catholic Church and the daughter churches, the Baptist, the Methodist, they, they, the Jehovah Witnesses, they all came, they all stem. Uh, my man, Vocab Malone, is a Roman Catholic. He's a reformed Roman Catholic. That's why he believes in the virgin birth and uh, other things. It says that wrought miracles. Now, miracles mean technology. It's a miracle that you can uh, take out a small phone and call somebody in Russia, in Japan, in Africa. Dial a number and a se and two seconds, boom, they pick up the phone. Now you can do video conference. Well, I have an app on my phone where if I hit that and I, and I call somebody that has the same app, I can talk to you and see you at the same time. That was in the movie 2001, The Space Odyssey. You saw it as a movie and you said, that'll never happen. 
Dick Tracy. He had the he had the phone on his on his watch, and he was and that's that's old old school. All right. So the miracles represent their technology with which he deceived them that had what? Received the mark of the beast. So what are they saying? Oh, it's something in your head. Oh, it's sin. So wait a minute. So the beast is going to make you sin? What? My first question was, when did the beast come about? Or when did the second beast come about? What's that all about? Because it speaks about Revelation 13, a beast being wounded and then coming back uh, to life again. What is that talking about? And there had to be an origin of the, of the beast, the birth of the beast. So what happened before the birth? Of the, was Solomon living during the time of the beast? Was Adam living during the time of the beast? Was King David living during the time of the beast? But, but they all sinned, right? Adam sinned. David sinned. Solomon sinned. The apostle Paul said, it's not me that doeth it, but sin that, that dwelleth in me. So they all sinned. And all, I believe in that same chap, uh, well, it's in Romans, it said, the conclusion that all have sinned. Meaning all Israelites have sinned. They broke the law in one way or another. And you were under the curse of sin from Adam. His sin, we inherited the curse from what Adam did. So that means everybody got the beast, the mark. Because they say it's sin. It says, uh, which, with which he deceived them. And the word deceived me to lead in the error. Not necessarily to force, but he'll give you, some of, some of you will get an ultimatum. If you don't take it, you can be put to death. So are you ready to die? Are you ready to have your children die? Well, if, you're, if you don't take it and your children and your wife, we're going to kill your wife, and we're going to kill your kids, and we're going to kill you. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. A lot of you motherfuckers are going to fold like a, like a cheap camera. That's going to be the ultimate test. It says, with which he deceived, led into error, them, and remember, it's not sin because people have been, Israelites been sinning before the beast came on the scene. Them that had received the MOTB and them that worship his name. Now, this guy said, well, you can, the, the MO, the mark and the image, so you can, you can, you know, not accept the mark, but receive his image and worship his image. No. It's when you take the, the, the MOTB, that means you did all the other things. You worship his image and so forth. It says, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So he said, that's, that's hell. That's, he said, that's hell. Now it says, these both, right? It says, the beast and the false prophet, they're going to they gonna burn in hell according to him. Now, I'm going to show you that it's talking about Israelites, too. So that means Israelites are going to burn in hell. How do you, how do you break down uh, Romans 11, 25, and 26, that all Israel shall be saved? It says, and the, and the devil that deceived them was cast. And who's the devil? Into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And that's why he says, well, it's a place, it's actual, actual hell. 14 verse, Revelation 20 verse 14, and, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire that is the second death. Wait a minute, what does it mean by death? Death is something that comes on somebody when they have a disease or they get old or they get hit by a car, or they get shot. This guy, uh, Tyree Nichols, death was on him. When they beat, they beat him to a point where death, death said, move out the way. Let me, let me come on in this guy and take his spirit. So death is like an invisible spirit. It's, it's a spirit that comes down and 
takes takes your spirit. So how can death go to hell? And it said, and hell, how can hell uh, will cast into the lake of fire? He just said, you heard it, you heard it yourself. He said that the lake of fire is a place that you burn forever. So what is hell? What the hell is hell? Do, do you got two hells? This is the second death. By the way, the second death applies to Israelites too. If you're not of the elect, you're going to suffer the second death. And I may go into that. And moreover, and who, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So are Israelites going to be written in the book of life? We're going to look it up. Not all Israelites. Let me take the phrase, the book of life. And then we're going to look at, look at the phrase, the second, the second death. Mr. Apostle Paul, and I entreat thee also, uh, true yoke fellow. What do you mean by that? The ones that are in the labor, just like he was. Help these, help those women which labor with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, labor, laborers in this truth, whose names are in the book of life. So the ones that are in the truth are of the elect. There's another good one where it says your name will be blotted out of the book of life. I'm not going to read all of them. Revelation 13 and 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names. Now, if you worship him, you're going to worship his image and you're going to take his karagma, his MOTB, right? So are Israelites going to take the MOTB? I'm talking about the physical MOTB, which we're teaching it the right way. It says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life, the, not written in the book of life of the lamb slain, Yahweh from the foundation of the world. So are Israelites going to be uh, not written in the book of life? Absolutely. So that means they're going to have, they're going to burn in hell forever. And who's going to be our who's going to be our slaves? If the, if the if Esau, the devil, the beast, the false prophet, is if all of them going to burn in hell, who's going to be our slaves? How do you explain Revelation thirteen nine and ten? How do you explain uh, Isaiah fourteen one and two? Revelation Revelation seventeen verse eight. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet is. What's that talking about? The beast that was and is not and yet is. Revelation 20, verse 12, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of, the, out of those things which were written in the book according to their works. So who's, who, who's not in the book, Lamb's book of life? There's a, there's a large number of Israelites that are not written in the land book of life. So according to him, they're burn, they're gonna burn in hell. See, you people that follow these other wayward groups and you get caught up with what they're doing, don't run, don't blame it on us. That's on you. We gave you the truth. You chose to follow somebody else. 
Revelation 20, verse 15, and whoso and whosoever was not found written in the book of life, which is going to be a large number of Israelites, was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 22, verse uh, 19. And if any, shall, ultimately Israel will be saved, but they're not going to burn in the lake of fire forever. The lake of fire is America. And if any man shall take away from from the words of the book of the prophecies, meaning you break it down the wrong way, the most side shall take away his part out of the book of life. So if you're written in the book of life, you're going to be blotted out of the book of life. So this guy's going to be blotted out of the book of life unless he repent. Maybe at, maybe at the, when, when, when they actually set up them, them uh, MOTB stations, maybe you'll repent. And out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Uh, Revelation 21, verse 27. And there, sh and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither uh, whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So my question is, if the lake of fire is hell and you burn for eternity in, in, in hell, minus the devil in, with the pitchfork, are Israelites going to be in hell? Anyway, like I said, I was going to make this relatively short. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.